All living organisms, whether they are single cell or multicellular, are composed of cells. A cell is defined as the smallest basic unit of life that is responsible for all of life's processes, such as respiration, reproduction, digestion, growth, and so on. A cell is made up of many cell organelles, such as membrane, nucleus, mitochondria, etc. Cells are classified into two main types, plant cells and animal cells. We will discuss animal cell in the next video. Today we are discussing only about plant cell in this video. Like animal cells, plant cells are also eukaryotic. That is, they have a membrane-bound nucleus and organelles. Cell wall The cell wall is the outermost covering of plant cells. Plant cells have a rigid cell wall. It is mainly composed of cellulose. This provides structural support and protection for the cell. Most of the plant cells have cellulose cell wall because it provides a structural framework to support plant growth. Cell Membrane The cell membrane is also known as plasma membrane. The role of the cell membrane in the plant cell is to support the cytoplasm of the cell from its cell wall. It also helps maintain the shape of the cell, formation of tissues, and selective transport of molecules. The cell membrane also allows the entry of nutrients and the exit of harmful substances. Cytoplasm The jelly-like semi-liquid material occupying most of the space inside the cell membrane is called cytoplasm. Lysosomes do not exit within plant cells. Some studies suggest the presence of lysosomes like structures or lysosomes related organelles in certain plant cells. However, their existence and functions in plants are still a subject of debate and ongoing research. Chloroplast Chloroplasts are the engine of plants. They use light from the sun and carbon dioxide to produce energy compound through the process of photosynthesis. Chloroplasts are filled with chlorophyll, a pigment that absorbs sunlight to kick off that process. Chlorophyll is what gives plants their green color. Vacuole Plant cells typically contain one large central vacuole that occupies much of the cell's volume. This vacuole stores water, ions, sugar, pigment, other nutrients, and waste products helping maintain torque pressure and providing structural support to the cell. Golgi body In plant cells, the Golgi apparatus functions similarly to its role in animal cells. The Golgi apparatus is essential for the proper functioning and organization of plant cells, playing key role in protein modification sorting, packaging, and secretion, as well as in the synthesis of cell wall component and vacuole formation. The Golgi apparatus consists of series of flattened membranous sacs called cisternae. Mitochondria Mitochondria in plant cells are multifunctional organelles essential for energy production metabolism, signaling, and various other cellular processes critical for plant growth, development, and responses to environmental cues. Nucleus The cell organelle surrounded by the nuclear membrane and containing other organelles such as nucleolus and chromosome is called nucleus. The nucleus controls many functions, such as protein synthesis, DNA replication, etc. Ribosomal RNA produced in nucleolus. Ribosome In plant cells, ribosomes play a crucial role in protein synthesis, just as they do in all other types of cells. 
Ribosomes are cellular organelles responsible for translating messenger RNA into proteins. They are composed of ribosomal RNA and proteins. They are essential for proper functioning and structure of plant tissues and organs. Smooth and rough endoplasmic reticulum In plant cells, both rough and smooth endoplasmic reticulum play crucial roles in various cellular functions. Rough endoplasmic reticulum contains ribosome from outside that gives a rough appearance. Rough endoplasmic reticulum transports material through the cell and produces proteins. Whereas smooth endoplasmic reticulum contains enzymes and produces digest lipids or fats. It also transports material through the cell.